I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to share with you my recipe for low carb almond waffles. They are delicious, you guys, and my kids love it and they don't have to eat low carb, so that tells you something. Okay, I'm starting with adding my sweetener. I'm adding erythritol. Then in goes the almond flour, my protein powder, and oat fiber. Here we go. First, I'm starting with all the dry ingredients, basically. Now we need to add the baking powder and salt. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to cover my food processor and I'm going to pulse it so everything is well combined. Here we go. So a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. And that's done. Now it's time to add our wet ingredients. I will start with my soft light margarine. You can use soft butter if you want instead. Then we're going to add two eggs and the vanilla extract. Okay, here we go. Now it's time to close the food processor again. And we're going to pulse it at the beginning a little bit. And then I'm going to let it go for around 30 seconds until everything is nice and smooth. Just like that. Now I have my waffle maker warming up. When it's ready, I'm going to spray it with baking spray. And that's what it is. You can use a nonstick spray or whatever instruction for your machine tells you to do. There we go. Now I'm going to use quarter cup scoop and I'm going to scoop the butter and put it in the middle of my waffle squares. Okay, here we go. All right. And from the amount given, I came out with uh, 10 waffles. Okay, we're going to close it. And I have a setting on number three. I'm not sure if that means exactly it's three minutes, but I like to pick in between just to see that they are not burning. Here, they are nice and golden brown. And I'm going to use two forks. And now that's important. You want to do it this way because they are extremely fragile at the beginning. When they cool down, they are firming up and they are getting nice and crispy. And then you can handle them very easily. But right now, when they are hot, if you would use one fork, they would probably fall apart. So just, uh, just be careful. Okay, here we go. We're going to go for the second round. All right. Now, uh, whatever eat right away, whatever you eat right away, that's perfect. But whatever it's left, I usually put in a Ziploc bag and I put it in my freezer. Now, when I'm ready to have some waffles, I'll pick up two and I will pop them in my toaster, and then they are just like freshly made, delicious. So, just a tip for you there. Okay, here goes the second round, and now you can serve it different ways. Uh, you can serve it with the syrup. I have a low carb maple syrup. I like to have it also with uh, peanut butter and low carb jam. Yum! But this time I decided to go fancy and I picked up some of my stevia sweetened chocolate and I'm going to melt it. So I have around, I would say I think four squares there. I'm going to uh, put them into smaller pieces. I like to have like a one square even I'm putting in a half. Here we go. I have a little microwavable bowl. Can you see I'm still putting them in half the squares and I'm going to pop it in a microwave for 30 seconds but if it's not ready by 30 seconds I am going to add only another 10. Now in this case the 30 seconds was enough and the chocolate was melted right away. But be very careful because the stevia sweetened chocolate uh, is burning much more, much more easily. All right, so we're going to drizzle it and we're ready to begin. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you give it a try, let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Bye. Smacznego.